Okay, hey everybody, I have a interesting perspective for all of you today that made me say, hey, I need to cut a video, so here we go. Now Hudson, my youngest son, is going to be 14, when, in a little over uh, a month? Early March. Early March, okay. So he's already getting the car itch, like what am I gonna get? Because his brother is already driving, mm -hmm. and so now it's his turn, right? And so we, he's built, well, what was the number one on your list at the time? Uh, Tacoma, TRD Pro. TRD Pro, Toyota, Tacomas, okay. Well, so so we he's built them on the website, we've looked at them, and I said, you know what, today's a great day, let's go, let's go look at it. And we got in the car, sat in it, he started it, and what was your impression? Um, well, the first impression was uh, small. Small? <laughs> it was small. Too small. Uh, Remember that the tech was a was a little dated dated tech the back seat was micro micro function Not up to uh, speed, right? Seemed very light, you know very like little like it wasn't built Good, okay, I just guess. kind of hollow and not yeah, hollow. not tough That's what I mean. That's what I meant. Okay. Yeah, something like that All right. Well, so we're in the car and I said, you know, we got to cut a video for this because this is a great point point. Ever since the kids have been little, we have had vision boards, right? And you don't just put something in front of your face and say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, until suddenly it's happening. It's not this mental gymnastics and brain judo you're doing. What it does is it clears the mind and you figure out what you want, what your goals are. And you can, of course, always modify it as you go. Well, for 23, right, everybody has goals. Some people write them down, some people don't. Anyway, so we go and explore what's on his vision board. Yeah, because I'm starting to build mine. Starting to build his. So if Compile you have things that I like. Right. And if you have kids at any age, even our even our seven year old is cataloging the things that she wants and so is our seventeen year old. Well so we go there, we explore it, we realize it's not up to speed, it's not what he wants. And so we back up, readjust and figure out, okay what do you want on there instead? Yeah. And I think our businesses are the same way. We have this idea of what we want out of or what our goal is when we end up being a consultant or joining as a customer. And primarily I'm talking to consultants. And then suddenly you've ridden in it or you, you explore it deeper and you realize one day you go, you know what? This isn't gonna fit. I joined it to make a few dollars Hobby money's not gonna cut it. It's too small for me, too small for my family. I think it's time to lift my vision. So then, but you don't know that unless you have the conversation because many of you got in the business and are still in the business for the same reasons that you originally had in your mind when you joined. But life has changed. The last few years across the world have been ridiculous, right? Your, um, everybody now is leaning into home-based businesses. Residual income makes sense. People want more freedom, right? Companies are doing a whole lot of from homework. Well, so now you go, you know what? The reason I wanted to be in the business in the first place was for X, Y, Z. Have the conversation. Is it meeting your needs? Do you like what you have at this point from it? Sit in it, look at the back seat, see how solid of a vehicle what you originally intended it to be actually is. And if it's hollow, if it doesn't meet your needs, it's not functional, and you realize that it's too small for you, then you revisit it. It's very important because you do need to know that people in our industry, across all companies, have made lifetimes of income in this industry. Not everybody will do that. Most will be customers. Some will be consultants then even a lesser number will make a few dollars here and there, which represents the majority of people because it's part-time and it's just a few dollars here and there. And then there's a smaller window of people that say, you know what, I'm gonna take this thing to the moon. And they bite into it and they change their lives, they change their children's lives, they change their legacy, and they allow, in my opinion, what all home-based businesses should be for, 
not to get your identity from, not to live and be, breathe as a, as a proselyte of the company. Um, it's who you are and everywhere you walk around, you talk about it. No, it should be an engine in a window because everything has a shelf life. It has a time frame. So during this window of time, and now with all the new innovations, the new hair care, give me a break. People are literally freaking out over these products because it is providing results they never thought possible. We won't get into that on this video. It will be the number one hair care line in the world. Absolutely confident in that because if their track record is any indication of what they want to do in the future, we're going to do that again. But, you know, you realize that I need to do this. I need to make real money. And there is a few people that will bite onto this, not because they have more talent or better looks or better connected or whatever people think, you know, well, Gabriel, I can never be like you and I don't have social. Se Let me tell you, when I got into the business, Holly was not in agreement, not for any reason other than she didn't understand the industry and she was focused on her career, which was keeping us afloat. I was in another direct sales company that had just fallen apart. I had my ear to the track. I jump into this and then I tell her, look, I'm going to use this to set our family free. Um, and she couldn't handle it. She just couldn't, you know, where he is in her belly at the time. Yeah. All right. Can you imagine now we're looking at cars and, um, actually we're at another dealership now looking at more vehicles, actually looking at trucks. See in the back there, right there. See yeah. The trucks, lots of trucks. We love trucks. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't have really any friends, um, didn't, I had friends, but not, not a social circle of friends. We didn't, you know, uh, we weren't plugged into a church where we knew a lot of people. We didn't have a big family. So I had all of the reasons why. And, you know, of course, some people will say, well, how, how did you grow this thing as a man? Because I treated it like a job. Every day I left the house and I made it happen. I had conversations with people and I made it happen. And many of you, if you know our story, you know the results. It radically changed our lives and continues to do so. Well, we have now decided to back up, see if the vehicle fits us anymore the way it is, right? Do we need a bigger car? Do we need more room in the back? So we're readjusting how we're engaging to the business. Gosh, you know, our goal was to make X. Our goal was to create freedom. Our goal was to create all of these milestones in our lives. We did those things, but is that, so we're revisiting, wait a minute. Okay, we joined for those reasons. We met those goals, we have them, we live in it. But you know what, we're not happy. That doesn't mean ungrateful. That means not satisfied. And not being satisfied is very, very healthy, but being grateful is critical. You have to maintain gratefulness regardless of your satisfaction level, but you but not being satisfied is a trim, is a fantastic driver. So we're revisiting our our needs, our family needs, our 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 extended family, what what we need. And so now we are allowing the business to be heavily scrutinized so that we can do what's profitable, cut out the stuff that isn't profitable be very militant with our time, doing everything through video, everything through YouTube now, because we have, you know, an enormous team and I can't speak to everybody anymore. I can't, I wish I could. So I'm able to speak to the people I can speak to, but I have to create systems and videos and content that's motivating and helpful to all of you. So you can take these nuggets and stand on top of all of these piles of pain right? Piles of rock and piles of pain. So you can have a, you can get there faster, quicker, more efficiently than we did. So anyway, this whole analogy, and hopefully it's making sense, is what he had on his vision board, we went to go explore. When we got into it and asked the deeper questions, we realized it's not going to meet the need and it needs to be taken off the vision board. So now we're readjusting his goals. You got into the business for a certain reason. This is what you thought it was at the time. I challenge you to revisit it. Are you happy with the results that you've gotten? Is your check where you want it? Is it meeting your family's needs in an abundant way? Is it meeting your family? Is it giving you exactly what you wanted? And if it is, and that's all you want, and you're fine with that, then fantastic. Then rest in that and keep on going. But if it is not providing or giving the freedom, or sometimes the business can be an aggravation, 
because it's neither profitable, but it's a little bit, but you're not efficient with it, but yet it seems to be taking too much time and there's still mindset issues and there's, you know, that's why we've trained extensively. That's why I wrote a book on the industry. That's why we talk about this. It's the between the ears stuff. Our products are not on trial. They're not in question. They work. They've been number one categorically across the board and globally in other countries and here. And the new product's going to do it again. That's not the issue. The issue is who is the messenger? What does the messenger see? How is the messenger relating the message? And is the messenger efficient in their message so that they can enjoy the fruit of their labor? Now that 2023 is a few weeks in, and most people statistically, yeah. did you know that? Most people, people st yeah. they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they have goals. They're all excited, and then guess what happens? What? Nothing. They don't accomplish any of it. And then a little bit of pain kicks in, and they just give it up. If you guys had goals, maybe the goals weren't measured. Maybe their goals were nebulous. Maybe you need to go get in the vehicle and explore it, start it, feel it, and go, you know what? This is not going to meet my needs because you can't you can't properly have a goal unless you've triangulated really what that thing emotionally is going to do for you. If it's just, I want a bigger house. Okay. That's way too loose. I want a bigger car. Okay. You need to say, I need a house with X number of square feet. I need the driveway to look like this. I need the garage to be like this. I need there to be an extra room here. We need a a pool. We need, right? All yeah, of those. You have to specify what you need. You have to specify it. Otherwise you frustrate yourself and you're like, gosh, I joined the business and I'm just, I mean, man, it's just not providing what we need. And I'm frustrated. And I, you know, I just need it to grow and I can't get my team to do this, that, and the other. And, you know, I need to, I mean, my, my, my spouse is, you know, da, da, da. And, you know, this year we wanted to do this. We, or we went backwards in our rank or our checks changed because of whatever reason and ultimately we have to realize as I've trained on we are thermom we are thermostats we're not thermometers mm -hmm. I say it all the time I yell across the house what do I say Hudson what are you doing well I always say what are you, what are you doing because I want to know what he's doing right that's first yeah. but I say turn up the air right or I'll do it on my phone and I'll make sure that the house temperature upstairs is where we want it downstairs so the whole house is even temperature and I adjust the temperature of the environment for our comfort level. If I'm a little bit uncomfortable, I adjust the temperature. So if your business has made you a little uncomfortable, if your checks are making you a little uncomfortable, if your goals that you thought were what you wanted are not what you want anymore, adjust the temperature and be that thermostat. Don't just say, I'm not reaching my goals. I'm frustrated. We don't have what we need. This is not enough. We're still working hours. Well, you know what? I did RF for a while, but you know, now... You know, I, I went back to work and blah, blah, blah. And and let me address one serious thing. Be careful of your nose. Yeah, nose yeah, yeah, we, we talk about it. it's been a sniffy day. and I know if you need some Kleenex. Yeah. Um, the Some of you got into the business, were aggressive about it. And somebody spoke in your ear. And all that you built fell apart because you fell into their mess. There's a lot of wolves that meander amongst the sheep and try to get you into other companies or try to get you to say, well, you're, it's your uplines problem. It's your downlines problem. It's this. Well, why don't you do this on the side? Well, you know what? You can do RF, but you can also do this too. And you can cross bond it. Well, let's go on team pages and let's start friending everybody and his mother and then private messaging them in the background. But no, let's not use real messages. Let's just use code language. Let's use symbols. Let's, let's, let's jump out of the business and then go and recruit all of our people into the new business. Because after all, I mean, and there's all of this junk that's always in the industry. And I always tell people, if somebody wants to leave, let them go. But many of you had your vision and what you wanted out of the business ripped off because you listened to other people. That's why you have to have your goals triangulated, measured, and you have to revisit them regularly. Because if you are solid on what you want, like I want that third truck, 
if I know that I want that third truck, it doesn't matter what I read in Car and Driver or yeah. in Motor Trend or what, ooh, a shiny one went by or somebody had a louder one or a faster one or a bigger one or a cooler one. I didn't pay any attention to all that because I had what I wanted in mind. Make sure you revisit your business and you know what you want out of it so that nobody's voice can take it from you. And if you've had your business erode, you are far wiser. You know how to do this. It's a better time to join the business than it was in the beginning. If everybody thinks in the early days was a better time, it's not. All the pioneering had to be done. There was all, Even the company had tremendous challenges. Leadership in the company. Everything had to change. We have the best team we've ever had in the company with the right vision that serves the consultants, that thinks about uh, more and more earnings for the, for, the, for the consultant and more for the company expanding the horizon. They're all about family. They're all about legacy. It's a beautiful thing. And revisit it. Revisit it. We all start at a certain point, right? And then if you watch a race, some people will like trail out and the other ones will trail out. Or if you watch a race, you know, a NASCAR, let's just say, or Formula One, everybody starts at the starting line. And then after two or three laps, there are massive dist distances between them. Here's the thing. Just because you may have started fast or now you're in a different position doesn't mean you can't just do some fine tuning and catch those laps up. You can do this, folks. I hope this helps. But going and looking at these cars and realizing we kind of obsessed over this vehicle that not only doesn't meet our needs, but we don't know if we really like it. Yeah. That's fantastic. And that's the gift we give ourselves as a family all the time. Holly does it with what she's doing and all of her coaching and all her trainings and all of my coaching and all of my trainings and our, and our Rodan and Fields business and our family and the kids doing all their videography and everything that we're doing. We're always revisiting that so that we don't all of a sudden wake up one day and you're, because you know, if you take off with a rocket yeah. and you take off and you're one degree off and you do that for 60,000 miles, you're going to miss the planet. And the problem is, is you want to make sure you stay on target by revisiting. What do you want out of the business? Why did you join it? Does it meet your needs where it's at? If you don't like where you're at, you can change it. You're a thermometer. You're not a thermostat. I mean, sorry, you're a thermostat. You're not a thermometer. And if you don't ask these questions, you might find yourself not realizing why you're frustrated, but you can change it. And guess what? Let me say this real loud. The top earners in the company, many of them haven't even joined yet, and many of them could very well be you. It's all about how efficient do you want to play this game. Blow your kid's mind. Be champions for your children. The greatest gift we give our kids is being a champion in life. They've seen us be at the top of the mountain. They've seen us lose things. They've seen us start over. They've seen us regroup. They've seen us be frustrated. They've seen us deal with drama with people. They've seen us deal with, I mean, right? Yeah, I remember. I mean, there's a lot over the years. And the kids just, you know, we just come back. We're resilient. We keep coming back. We keep coming back. And that is what these kids are seeing. Everybody's watching you. Remember this, everything you do affects everybody always. And your family, your legacy, your children, your spouse. Heck, if you have a, a disgruntled spouse that's having a tough time with you spending so much time in the business, just learn how to be real efficient. Revisit your goals. And then, I always say this joking, Lassie, there's not a $5,000 residual check that doesn't cure even the most disgruntled spouse. You know, add a few zeros to that, right? That'll really cause them to have a hallelujah moment. I'm just telling you, that kind of stuff is possible in our industry. Some will get it. Most won't. But... We just hope that this video is an encouraging to the whole team. Remember, in the team uh, in the team page, I'm always doing videos that are going to the YouTube channel. In the YouTube channel, I'm constantly putting up new trainings. Go through and watch the trainings. They're all designed to make your business more efficient. And everything that I start sharing on a regular basis is going to consistently go into the YouTube channel so you always have access to the links of it. And I'm going to keep emailing the entire team. And if you guys, you know, some of you might not want it and you can unsubscribe. And some of you might say, this is the greatest stuff ever. We're just trying to be abundant so that you can do it better and more efficiently than we do. And it's a great way for us to get our voice heard. And I don't have to repeat, repeat myself because even in our business, right? If I was on the phone all the time or constantly in meetings and I'm not with the kids, well, that would be the ultimate hypocrisy because I was in the business and I joined the business in order to do what? Design our lives on purpose so we never have to miss a moment. So I can always be on a Monday 
all day long running around with my son. We're making money residually. There's teams all over the world that are growing and building and, and, and moving product. And we are dreaming, helping the team be more efficient, helping our own lives be more efficient, expanding our, our, our vision and fine tuning our lives for 23. So that is our video to you today. Any final thoughts? No, I don't think so. I think you covered it all actually. I I did a good job. <laughs> I, co I covered it all, probably more than you wanted me to cover. So I will see you guys on the next video. You're all a blessing, and I want to thank you. Many people say, Gabriel, you've changed our lives. Thank you so much. You and your wife, your family have changed our lives. But at the same time, you guys have changed our lives. So we're interdependent. That's the beauty of this thing, all right? See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.